Hey guys, welcome to another video. Quality of profits uh, is a ratio which uh, tells us how much of our profits were converted into cash and it is very important ratio and the reason is that if a business has been selling a lot and uh, because they are selling a lot on credit they have been selling uh, a lot to anyone without doing any credit checks um, this is very aggressive marketing or uh, selling strategy they may not get all of their money from their customers because they have been selling to everyone in that case it is important to compare how much profit they are showing because of that aggressive uh, selling uh, strategy against how much cash they are actually uh, receiving and uh, if they are not receiving a lot of cash then it is detrimental for the business because eventually they will run out of cash it, it is also an important measure of the the effectiveness of uh, credit control of the uh, organization if you look at the formula it uses two figures it actually uses one figure from a statement of cash flow and that is the reason that in some books this ratio has been given under the cash flow ratios however in essence it does tells us about the quality of the profits uh, of that business so it uses one from a statement of cash flow which is a net cash flow from operating activities and then it is divided by the figure of uh, operating profit by standard the result of this ratio should be one ratio one so if you are showing a profit of one million in your income statement your the actual cash which you have generated from that should also be 1 million this ratio however uh, will be different for uh, retailers who are always who sell on cash and uh, uh, this may give a high figure for this ratio however uh, those businesses who sell on credit they would normally have this ratio uh, less than one so their net cash generated from operating ratios would be less than uh, one the result of this would be in times not in percentage the figure which we are looking for is net cash uh, inflow from operating activity slightly different wordings but essentially is the net cash from operations or net cash from operating activities and this is the figure which we need for our ratio so we got both of the figures we can go to excel and calculate the ratio uh, cash flows from operations are operating the same thing and operating profit uh, operating profit we have used before 156 and and uh, two five three point two, and this figure is new with a net cash flow eight four nine point eight and one zero six seven. These are the two figures which we needed. We can do the math. There's no hundred percent now. Okay, this ratio uh, is uh, normally said in times. So, what is their cash flow in comparison to their operating profit? And in simple terms, this would be uh, five times. So, if they're making a profit of one hundred, their cash is five hundred. In 2017, it was 4.22%. So it has actually increased. Uh, if you look at this, take the difference. And it has increased by 29 percent 
which is a good increase so this is a positive sign if you look at overall um, uh, profitability of Marks and Spencer there are a bit of a mixed message here uh, first thing is that the Rocky is deteriorating uh, two ratios are deteriorating Rocky and uh, um, and the net profit ratio are deteriorating um, quite significantly too, not just small decrease, but quite a uh, um, significant decrease. However, a gross profit ratio is still stable and uh, quality of profit ratio has increased, which is quite, uh, but to be honest, for a retailer, quality of profit is not a significant ratio. So I would ignore, when I am assessing uh, a retailer's profitability ratio, I would ignore this uh, ratio um, however the the other three ratios are significant and uh, they're not showing up so overall my opinion uh, is that the performance the profitability of Marks and Spencer has decreased from 2017 to 2018 uh, what are the specific reason in my understanding the increase in operating expenses was one of the significant reasons uh, i let you do more research about your company so you will get higher marks if you can explain the reasons for this and compare it with another competitor as well thank you for watching this video guys i hope you like it and if you do please give it a thumb up and uh, share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel where I release regular videos on accounting and finance subject. Thank you.